I'm going to challenge you a little bit. No excuse. I don't want a freaking excuse from you for you to stop or not do what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Very often when I'm coaching somebody or I'm having these sessions with somebody, you know, on a coaching topic, something that has to do with goals and something that you want to achieve, I hear excuses coming in. Blaming of circumstance and situations and past and so on and being in this therapeutic mode where you are processing whatever you need to process in your system to feel good about the steps that you are going to take next. But all those are excuses. If you wake up in the morning and you, you are in a healthy body and you don't go and train and you don't optimize your day and you eat um, shit, you know, unhealthy food and, and you enter into conflicting relationships with people and so on, guess who is doing, who is making those choices? It's you. I don't want excuses. I don't want you to hide behind, you know, blaming the circumstance or the people in your life or the place where you live. Of course, there is going to be an influence of the circumstance. Of course, the environment is going to impact, but within that, within this situation, there is a huge range and lots of room for freedom and movement. So what happens at the end of the day with your life is your choice. It is your responsibility. It's not somebody else's responsibility. It is yours responsibility. Position yourself from that place. I know that sometimes you might have controlling structures, your freedom might be restricted, your body might be restricted, whatever. But the point is this, start from the place where you go like, I am the designer of my life. If my life doesn't look, look like something that I'm enjoying, it is your right and your power to take back control. No excuse. Don't accept excuses. Don't accept this chat in your mind that goes like, oh, victimization. It's because of this. Here is why I cannot jog this morning. Here is why I'm not going to train today. Here is what I'm eating unhealthy food. It's because I love pizza. <laughs> it's like, what? You love pizza. It's a change. Accept the fact that there is going to be an adaptation moment and stretch your limits. You're not enslaved to pizza. <laughs> you know, you're not enslaved to these things. You are allowed to take back control. And yes, it is a repolarization of, of things in your life. But the way you look, the way you feel, the way you, you lead your day, the thought patterns in your mind, all that is your creation and it is your responsibility. Don't come to me with excuses, okay? I. I might listen, I might feel sympathy for you and, uh, and compassion, but the thing is that within that space of your life, you have room for lots of freedom, lots of movement, and lots of place to create the life that comes a little bit closer to the way you want it. If you don't feel good, at the end of the day, think about the actions that you made, the choice that you made, and realize that if you had made other choices and taken other actions, the result and the feelings and the grace and the state of mind that you feel at the end of the day might be different. So I don't want to blame you or attack you. I just want to tell you this. Don't give yourself the luxury of blaming circumstances and situations. No excuse. Just Go ahead and take action and responsibility for what you create in your life.